The Lauderet Creek Security Training Campus Development Plan, presented by Federal Development. The world has changed dramatically in the past five years, redefining security and anti-terrorism training needs for the United States and our allies. With new challenges to freedom both at home and abroad, new approaches and solutions will be required. For our growing government and private security forces, as well as first responders, a critical training void exists. There is an increasing national and global demand for consolidated, convenient, and state-of-the-art security training facilities to meet our increased training missions. Federal development has brought together this country's best professional and technical people to meet this new, critically important mission. Our security missions require a global reach to hotspots located across the globe. The Lauderick Creek Training Campus has the potential to help fill the current training void and to become one of the premier sites for first responders, security, and anti-terrorism training anywhere in the world. The campus, strategically located at the U.S. Army's Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland, is close to Interstate 95 and many major East Coast cities and within easy driving distance of several major international airports. The proposed campus site, 740 acres of developable land located adjacent to Lauderick Creek and the Bush River, has been conceptually planned by the federal development team to maximize redevelopment opportunities while at the same time respecting the natural features of the site such as wetlands and dense vegetation. Primary access to the campus is proposed from the existing Route 755 entrance to APG. The campus will provide shuttle service to the nearby Edgewood Mark Rail Station. Generous setbacks are planned to be provided along the shoreline areas and major areas of tree cover, and eagle nesting locations will be retained as part of the development. Force protection standoffs will be provided adjacent to the Amtrak line along the northwest perimeter allowing existing site constraints to be incorporated into the design. The result of the proposed plan will be the ability to serve a wide variety of private, state, local and federal clients in a flexible high-tech environment an environment that presents opportunities for cross-training and intellectual synergy among trainees, while also providing security, autonomous enclaves for those that may require a greater degree of security. Development will be phased to meet detailed market demands and will include a major common training area, as well as training villages and associated support facilities designed to serve all users of the campus. Pre-registered visitors and students coming to the secure campus will arrive at a modern visitor center for check-in and will board the campus bus system to access their individual secure training village. Training villages are the backbone of the campus plan. The villages will offer a variety of lodging types, dining halls, meeting rooms, recreation and fitness centers, and smaller training facilities such as indoor shooting ranges and simulation training suites. The training village concept allows great flexibility for secure, self-contained training experiences for different user groups, accommodating different curriculum for any length of stay, all within a walking, pedestrian environment. For example, lodging can range from basic dormitory-style rooms for most students to a select number of more upscale VIP-type housing units. Special facilities can also be provided to serve trainees' unique religious needs, dietary needs, and cultural needs. The nerve center of the campus will be the main classroom and administration complex, a multi-purpose training venue located at the center of the campus. Containing classrooms, computer labs, secure conferencing and video production facilities, as well as a reference library and mock counterterrorism and emergency operations center, this complex will play a key role in the training experience of the student. The major common training facilities will be located within a second secure area. 
These common training elements include a state-of-the-art 1.2-mile high-speed tactical driving track and off-road track, a mock airport, including full-scale planes and cockpit replicas, a usable heliport, aprons and hangars, and functional security and baggage check areas. Numerous indoor shooting ranges, methods of entry buildings, and close quarter battle houses. A fully baffled live fire vehicle maneuver area. A maritime training facility with docks, piers, and ship mock-ups located on the campus's Bush River waterfront. And a unique 70-acre interactive urban tactical training area featuring a variety of simulated urban environments. This training component will be designed to allow multiple training groups to use the area simultaneously and will incorporate extensive simulation projection, audio and special effects capabilities, including the use of pyrotechnics in order to achieve the highest level of real-world sensory and environmental realism. Some of the major training elements will include a rail station and tunnel with full-scale rail, freight and passenger cars suitable for the practice of boarding techniques, hostage rescue, and hazmat response exercises, assorted low- and mid-rise structures designed to simulate apartment complexes, commercial buildings, TV or radio stations, and other realistic urban and rural structures, markets and shops, a rubble field and collapsed building for the practice of search and rescue techniques, a school complex, and a full-scale mock embassy compound, ambassador's residence, and street grid designed to facilitate the training of diplomatic and VIP security details and motorcade training. Other important training elements to be found within the campus will include a border control station, canine training and veterinary clinic, explosives and breaching training, disaster response, and WMD training, as well as a relocated or expanded joint training area for the Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute. The federal team has also formed a strategic alliance with the University of Maryland, a leading provider of distance learning education services and recently selected by the Department of Homeland Security as the Homeland Security Center of Excellence for Behavioral and Social Research on Terrorism and Counterterrorism. This alliance will allow world-class opportunities and synergies that integrate training, curriculum, and applied research to the development and operation of the campus. All of these elements will help to create a consolidated, world-class anti-terrorism and security training center at Lauderick Creek and Aberdeen Proving Ground and will contribute to enhancing our nation's national security efforts.